Okay, so good afternoon class. My name is Jose Calder. My video presentation will be on teaching someone with a visual disability how to block a ball during the game of Go Ball. So this video presentation is for my internship class. Last number is LEI 4940. So the game of Go Ball is played with six people, three people on both sides. Sorry, I'm losing it up. It's played with six people on a regulation size volleyball court. All right. There's three people on, one, on the offense, three people on the defense. The game is played with two 12 minute rounds with a three minute halftime. After every 12 minutes, the teams rotate sides and will defend the other side of the uh, court. So the name of the game, if go ball, is they have a ball. It's gonna be my ball. And the ball is a hollow ball that weighs around three, three pounds with bells inside. It has bells inside because those that have a visual disability rely on their hearing. So the ball, the, the bells assist those with visual disabilities so they can play using their other senses, so like hearing. Um, okay, perfect. So this is my assistant. I will be teaching her how to block a ball, basically. She has a, a blind, so I, can so I can teach her exactly how to do it. Just as I was teaching someone with a visual disability. So, uh, you see me? No. Perfect, move forward, please. Move this thing down a little bit. Move to the left. More to the left. Perfect. Okay, so the game of go ball. That's perfect. Let's start now. The game of go ball is played with three people on offense, three people on defense. The name of the game is to defend the goal from the offense. So I'm gonna have a ball and what I'm going to do is throw the ball towards you in like a bowling fashion and you need to block the ball. The ball will have bells inside so you will be able to hear it. Okay. Okay, so I need you to take three steps backwards so you can block one more step to the left. Take two steps to the right. Sorry, one more step, please. Perfect. Okay, so the goal and picture the goal behind you, and I'm the offense throwing the ball towards you. Okay, so the best technique for blocking the ball is for you to get on the floor. Perfect. You're gonna, when I throw the ball at you, I'm gonna say throwing ball because I don't have a ball that has bells in it. Okay, so what I need you to do when I say throwing ball is lay down sideways on your hip and the side of your body mm -hmm. to make yourself as big as possible. Okay. All right, when I say throw ball, you need to use your ears to stop the ball going past you. If I get the ball past you, that's a point. Okay. okay, so in the game of Go Ball, there's 12 minute rounds followed by a three minute halftime. The pace is 10 seconds. I need to throw the ball within 10 seconds. I'm not, usually in the game of Go Ball, I have 10 seconds to play with, but I'm gonna say throwing ball so you know the ball's coming at you and you don't really have the entire time. All right? All right. So when I say throwing ball, this means the ball's coming at you, mm -hmm. you gotta block it. Okay. The best way to do this is when I stay throwing the ball, I need you to lay down with your hands a little bit up. One hand up, one hand a little bit down, legs flat out. Okay, okay so let's practice this. Right. I'm not gonna throw the ball at you right now. I'm gonna practice on technique. Mm -hmm. Okay, so throwing ball. That is good. But so how you put your hands, both hands down? Mm -hmm. I need you to put one hand up and make, that, make yourself a little bigger. Okay, like this? Just like... Down, down, and up. Okay. Okay? Just like that. Perfect. Okay, so throwing ball. Alright. Throwing ball. Perfect. A little better. Okay, so your right hand, extend both hands out, one above the other, mm -hmm. so that if I throw the ball that area, you can block it. Okay, so we're going to practice by throw one more time. Throwing ball. Perfect. That's actually very good. Okay, ready? 
right. So this time I'm gonna throw the ball towards you. When I say throwing ball, this means the ball will be in play, it will be towards you. The name of the game is for me to get the ball behind you. Okay. Okay, so when I say throwing ball, it means the ball is coming towards you. You need to stop it. Alright. Alright, can you see? No. Perfect. Ready? Yes. Throwing ball. Perfect. Good job. We're going to do this a couple of times just so you get the hang of it. Okay. Then I want you to get on the other side so I can throw it the other direction so you can get the feel of blocking on the other side. Mm -hmm. Alright, so throwing ball. Good job. One more time. Ready? Throwing ball. Good job. Give me the ball back. I want you to get on the other side of your hip because I won't be throwing the ball towards the other direction. This time I need you to do the exact same thing on the other side. So this time I'm not going to throw the ball with you. I want to see your technique in practice. Okay? So throwing ball. That's perfect actually. You can get back up. Let me adjust this a little more. Perfect. You ready? Throwing ball. Good job. Oh, all right. One more time, then I'm gonna throw the ball, okay? Okay. Just practice this. Throwing ball. Good. Okay, ready? Yes. I will be throwing the ball this time. So when I say throwing ball, the ball will be in play. I will try to get the ball past you. Okay. Your yeah. um, is to not let the ball get past you. Ready? Yes. Throwing ball. That's fine. That does happen. The ball will hit you occasionally if you have a little opening, right? Ready, set, mm -hmm. throwing ball. Good job. Let me do two more times, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready, set, throwing ball. Good job, nice block. One more time. Ready, set, throwing ball. Good job. Can you stand up, please? Walk toward me, walk toward me, walk toward me. Good job, take you. Line fold up. Mm -hmm. That was the practice. Good job, did you learn? Yes, I did. Good job. Okay, that simulates me as the teacher teaching my assistant how to block a ball. Appreciate it, thank you. Okay, some of questions okay some of the questions that i had spoken about the two locations that i spoke about that i thought would be interesting to ask questions on was the paralympics and then a s organization called vision awareness so i'm going to read my questions and give you the answers that i was able to find after that i will be speaking about three different community locations that i feel would benefit someone with a visual disability on and knowing about First location on questions that I'm going to answer are is about the Paralympics. This is one of the leading uh, organizations on those with disabilities on playing sporting events. All right, the questions that I asked was, does the level of vision affect the level of play for someone participating in goal ball? Uh, the level of vision does not play a factor in for the fact that they wear uh, eye covers which makes it evens out the playing field completely so everyone technically has the same vision next question is are there any special techniques when attempting to block or throw the ball that we should know about so when from from doing my research i saw that whenever you throw the ball you want to stay as low as you can and prevent the ball from bouncing as much as it can now the ball does have bells on it so that will make a sound but by throwing it easy and not making a bounce, the bells won't go off as much. So name of the game is so that they won't hear because they don't have their vision. So less impact is prevents more, uh, less sound. Uh, for blocking the ball, I found that diving on your side, hands up, um, hands up, feet out, extended, that is like the go-to way from blocking the ball during go, go ball. Um, next question is how often do injuries happen? As you can see, I kind of hit her in the head with the ball. Injuries do tend to happen due to the fact that they are throwing the ball with extreme speed and you don't really have your face covered all the time. So injuries do tend to happen, nothing too severe, but a bump or two it does happen on occasion. Can anyone play goal ball? Do you need a visual disability? 
So to compete in the Paralympics, you do need to have a visual disability to compete. But to play on a game of go ball during a regular exhibition with people out just during any given gym, you can participate because your eyes will be covered. So you will be simulating as you had a visual disability. So you can participate without any kind of disability. Okay, that was my last question for Paralympics. My next organization that I will be speaking about is called Vision Aware. So this is an organization that it was built to assist those with visual disability. It is basically a rehabilitation for organization for those with visual disabilities. So I'll answer this question now. So the first question I've heard is what does a really rehabilitation therapy do for someone with a visual disability? Like what does the job entail? So while it's not strenuous eye work because if you have a disease or you just have a trauma that has come to your eyes and that damage is permanent, it does not give you vision, but it does help you with everyday functions. So how to cope with visual, uh, with the loss of your vision, how to get from point A to point B, maybe using the cone teaches you how to work with animal services, it just helps you function better in, teaches you how to function better in society. Does the rehabilitation service for the visual impairment help increase one's vision? It does not. It just teaches you how to um, handle situations out in the world a little better. How effective do we have uh, services with vision impaired? It is very effective. It puts you in different scenarios and teaches you how to react during the scenarios. So that's always definitely a plus. And who performs rehab services for the people with visual disabilities? Um, medical parentheses occupational therapy. There is a course that those, not just occupational therapists, but other professions that can learn how to do uh, rehab therapy for those with visual, visual impairment. And, but occupational therapists obviously can do this also. So there is a, its own profession that can, ha can assist those with visual impairment, but occupational therapists also can assist Okay, and then we'll go talk about these three community uh, organizations that I feel would be uh, vital for someone with a visual impairment to know about. So the first one that I found was called Lighthouse International. So Lighthouse International. So it is an organization that helps provide information on those with visual impairments. It also provides um, a, a support kind of a, like a support group to those with visual impairment for them and their families to help them better process what's going on, what to expect, and how to experience everything. So that's definitely one that I thought would be detrimental to know about. Um, the next one is the National Federation for of the Blind. The NFB is the largest organization of my in America. What it does is it provides resources for those with visual disabilities. So you can go there and purchase stuff through them. They also provide information and information for those with uh, visual disabilities and what to expect and how to cope with everything. The last one was the Foundation for Fighting Blindness. So this is a nonprofit organization which provides funds and they provide funds to different research organizations, which those organizations, the, the organizations that they provide funds to, they are, their job is to prevent, prevention of um, the trauma or everything like that, or uh, working for cures or working on treatments for those with all, all, in, all involving retinal degenerative diseases. So definitely one that I thought was uh, super important to know about because it provides funding for ongoing researches for people with uh, visual disabilities. So definitely thought that was one. Okay, and that is my presentation. I appreciate you guys. My name is Jose Caldera. Um, this is my presentation on teaching someone
with a visual disability, how to block a ball during goal ball.